Okay, so so far we've created our metadata, we've ingested our images, and we've collected the fiducial marks on the images using a template for all 18. We didn't have any problems. We only had one uh, image that had a failed auto fiducial mark. We, we added that in just for a safe measure. We didn't need to, but we did anyway. And so now we can get to the step where we can specify the nominal georeferencing. So this is our working folder right now. As you recall, we ingested everything into this folder called ingest. And the actual fiducial project that we're working with is this one here. So let me just point to that file. So the fiducial here is, is this fiducial project. The reference elevation model, now it does need a reference elevation model. Uh, we did capture a uh, elevation model from USGS. So here's the reference model elevation model. So I'll just go to the uh, reference folder and point to the DM. Now the next step is to output these images to a location on disk. These will be the uh, nominal georeference step. So this is really just the start of the project in terms of roughly aligning the images where they belong. So I'm just going to create a folder here called nominal georeferencing. And I'm going to select that folder and now I'm ready to go. So let's run this, uh, this step. Okay, so that was pretty quick. Essentially what it did, if I go in here, you can see that it created these PIX files, which are essentially just links to the existing data that's been ingested. And if I open up Focus and I load those up, I just have to uh, choose the georeferencing option. And if I zoom out, we have a rough georeferencing that's all set to go here. So I can change the enhancement for all of them at the same time. Let me just uh, make this window a little bit bigger. And uh, this would be a good point to kind of do some rough QA to see if these images are properly aligned. So for example, I'll uh, put this one on top of the other one. You can see that the lake is, you know, it's roughly positioned in the right place. We have this linear feature here, this road, which is following. At this point, we don't need to be very accurate. We just need to make sure that all of the images are roughly positioned in the same location. As I mentioned in the introduction on in the first part of the course, the forward overlap is 60%. So you can see that there's quite a bit of overlap in this direction. And then the side lap, which is the the other flight lines is about 40%. So, uh, so it looks like everything's pretty good here. I can I can click, I can use my select tool and sort of turn different images on and off and see what's underneath. So it looks like everything's lining up pretty close and we're good enough for uh, getting going with our project. Now, if you want to get some sense of whether this is lining up with the real world or not, uh, if you go to the reference folder and you open up the reference data set and we'll just zoom out here and we'll put this reference data set underneath now this is a reference mosaic that's been provided to us by the city of st john from 2004 and uh, it looks like we're pretty much roughly in the same spot so you can see the coastline and some of the other features are visible in the 2004 mosaic that we'll be using as a reference data set. You can see this intersection here, this V-shaped intersection. So once again, looks like we're in good shape. So let me close this down and we'll move on to our course alignment step in, uh, in the next uh, section of this uh, course.